Now, of course, you know that Rob Brydon has been in, in Traharis this morning, in the community itself. Now, Traharis is going to suffer because deep navigation is going to close, and he's been talking to the miners about their feelings. Welcome back to Traharis. A lot of the boys here about to start on their afternoon shift. Now, bearing in mind we've got Arthur Scargill there in the studio, what we want to do, Roy, is get a few of the boys' feelings here. Now, we've got surface workers and some of the underground boys. Come over here, mates. We've got Yori here and Emlyn. We'll start with you two. Yori, how long have you been working here at Traharis? Uh, total of 10 years. Now, bearing in mind, as I say, we've got Arthur Scargill in the studio. Just give us some idea of how you're feeling. Towards Arthur? Toward, well, how are you feeling generally? The fact that it's, it's closing down um, towards Arthur, yeah. I feel sick of the pilot because it's closing down. The prospects of a job after are not going to be very good. I'm the wrong age, really, to finish in the coal industry. And uh, I just don't know what I'm going to do after. How is the industry taking care of you? How will it take care of you? Well, we've got with a, a lump sum, which isn't a fortune. And I don't think that it'll last very long if you don't get other employment. Is it a realistic sum, though? Well, it's not bad, like. It's, uh, yeah. Are you talking about myself, about £20,000? Right. But that's not going to last me a long time, unless I can get another job. Emily, how do you feel? Well, the same as Jory. I'm very disappointed because I'm over 40. There's no way am I going to get a job because I will employ you. But having said that, what Jory just said, that 20,000 wouldn't last a lifetime. It's only two years' work when you work it out, and that's the end of it. Then. And you spent how long here? Nine and a half years altogether. Let's get some more reactions from some more of the boys who are over here then. What's your name? Oh, hello, Stallion. Stallion earlier. Stallion, we, we said we said hello to you. Any points you'd specifically like to put towards Arthur Scargill? No, not really. No? Uh, you said how you feel already, haven't you? Yeah. Let's chat some more of the boys. We've got quite a few here. Anything you'd like to say? No, not only what the boys have just said. You know, we're all very worried about uh, finding a job in the near future. and doesn't look very good. You don't see any prospects personally, then? No, there's nothing about. There's nothing is, about. is there any, any of the boys here who have actually got anything lined up after this finishes? None of you? None of you got any prospects at all? No. Nothing whatsoever? No, we're still, we're still looking for a transfer. We're open to have a transfer. Yeah, where, where could you be transferred to? Well, there's two, two quarries in the area, and uh, that doesn't look very good because they are full already, yeah. and they've asked us to go up north. But um, I've not got that anyway. you got all your families here? Yes, sir. So, talking very realistically now, it shuts down. None of you seem to have any prospects. What are you going to do? Well, there's nothing for us to do. You're going to have to exist somehow, you'll have to do something. Well, we've got the money, but uh, we've got to live on it, and that's the end of it. It's no good, you know, because we've got to live on that money. How long have you been here? In this pit, I've been 18 months or so. And how long have you been working in the mines, generally? 12 years. How do you feel towards Arthur Scargill and all that he represents? <laughs> Arthur, no comment. He's just... He's not real, man. The man's not real. He doesn't, he doesn't do nothing for us no more. Arthur was a, he was all our hero, I think, in a strike, and since the strike just started, it doesn't exist to us. He's in a different world. Yeah. I think everybody feels the same way about it. Malcolm, we, we saw you earlier on in the, in the lamp room. In the lamp room, anything you'd like to say? Well, not a lot about Scargill, to be honest. I thought he had finished as our representative at the moment. But uh, I suppose he will come back to life again. But as far as I'm concerned, I've forgotten all about the man. Well, there we are. Not much grey area there, Roy. Back to the studio. Thank you very much, Roy.